Uh, yeah, that's right. I need to uh, file my flight plan. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, hey, I'll call you back. Thank you very much for your service. Thanks for coming. I was just about to file my flight plan. Now, remember when we talked about flying VFR, we're not required to file a flight plan, but of course, it's always an excellent idea and it's good aeronautical decision making. Well, what about when we fly IFR, following instrument flight rules? Do I have to file a flight plan? No. What? I don't have to file a flight plan? Aha, but take a look at our first slide, 91-173. No person may operate an aircraft in controlled airspace under IFR unless that person has a filed an IFR flight plan. Now, the vast majority of our airspace is controlled. And just like when I'm VFR, makes sense to file a flight plan. Well, when I'm IFR, how much sense does it make to fly IFR in uncontrolled airspace? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Epic Flight Academy. This is the instrument rating course. My name is Mike Thompson and of course to be successful, you are going to study all of this material in Epic's online course. And then secondly, re follow and review these uh, videos in parallel to that content. And then thirdly, of course, Go through all of this stuff in detail with your flight instructor. Now, what about those clearances? Let's go back to that first slide. 91-173, no person may operate an aircraft in controlled airspace under IFR unless A, they filed a flight plan. That's what I was just doing on the telephone when you came by. And B, has received an appropriate ATC clearance. Well, what is an IFR clearance? An IFR clearance is ATC authorization to fly a particular route and altitude through a specified airspace. And those clearances come to us in a specific sequence. And we use this acronym called CRAFT C in parentheses, and you can see that right here. Clearance limit, route, altitude, frequency, transponder code, and then maybe a clearance avoid time if it's appropriate. Now, just like with any other acronym, please remember, it is simply a memory aid. Knowing the acronym by itself is not enough. We want to know the whys and wherefores, what's behind that acronym. So where do we find it? Take a look at our next slide and we can see that our CRAFT acronym is really a memory aid drawn from the Aeronautical Information Manual, Chapter 4. And in specific, I want you to look at the AIM 4-4-3. Review this with your flight instructor and you'll see where that CRAFT acronym comes from. Now, when we pick it up, ATC will always give us our clearance limit, followed by our route, then our altitude, frequency, and transponder code. We may get a clearance void time if we're picking this IFR clearance up at a remote location or an uncontrolled airport. So, how do I pick up an IFR clearance? Yeah, I file my flight plan over the telephone, that's sure, sure, that makes sense, or over my iPad, yeah, okay. What about the clearance? Well, the way that we pick up our clearance, I want you to remember these three things. Number one, you must have your flight plan on file. Number two, you've already gotten your weather brief because you filled out your nav log and filed your flight plan. But now, number two, I want you to quickly review and, you know, get again the most current ATIS information or the ASOS or AWOS. And then number three, 
advise the appropriate service that you are ready to copy your IFR flight plan. Now, look at the note on our slide. Please be ready to copy when you tell ATC that you are ready to copy. So that means you're gonna have your cockpit organized, you got your knee board ready, you got your pen ready, or however you record it. And now you're ready to pick up that clearance. So, who do we call? Now, we know who to call to file the flight plan, but who do we call to pick up the clearance? Well, the answer is, it depends. What does it depend upon? Take a look at our slide. It depends upon whether or not that is a controlled or an uncontrolled airport. At a controlled airport, you're going to call clearance delivery. Now, most um, Bravo airports and a lot of Charlie airports have clearance delivery. Well, what if I'm at an airport and they don't have clearance delivery. In that case, you'll pick up your IFR clearance from ground control. Now, what about these uncontrolled airports? Okay, there's a couple of ways to do it here. And the first way is a phone call. Now, you can pick up this clearance over the phone, and when you do, ATC will give you a clearance void time. What does that mean? It means that they're going to allow space for you and your aircraft to enter into the IFR system. And they're going to plan around you entering that system within a certain time window. And if they don't hear from you by the end of that time window, that clearance they just issued you is void. That's a clearance void time. The other way to uh, receive this clearance is through an RCO or a GCO or flight service. Now, I want you to review this in detail with your flight instructor. Let's take a look at examples of where do I find this information? Well, on the slide here, you can see an excerpt from, I hope this looks familiar. Yeah, that's the chart supplement. And on your left, you see an excerpt from a tower controlled airport, that is New Smyrna Beach. And on your right, you can see an excerpt from a non towered control airport, that is Brunswick Golden Isles. And if you take a look at the areas that we've highlighted, you can see that New Smyrna Beach, in fact, does not have a clearance delivery frequency, but you're going to pick it up over ground. And you can see at Brunswick Golden Isle, if you take a look at what we've highlighted, you're going to pick that up through an RCO. Now, let's just quickly review RCO and GCO. Take a look at this slide. RCO means a radio communication outlet or a remote communications outlet, and GCO is a ground communications outlet. The RCO is a communications outlet through the radio waves, and you can see in our example. So we're going to tune to the frequency found in the chart supplement and just transmit as we normally would. And you can see on our next slide that the GCO is an automated system connecting the pilot to ATC or flight service utilizing a phone line. So review these in detail with your flight instructor. And folks, that pretty well outlines what is an IFR clearance, who do we call, and how do we pick it up? So join us next time.